Marcus Coaster of the New Orleans Saints. Tell me, when you first got into the game and, and you, you know, did your rookie season and all the fame came about, what was your first thoughts when you start seeing, really seeing highlights and really start hearing your name a lot? What was your first thoughts? Well, it all, it all happened so fast. Um, as, as it was going on, it really, I really couldn't look at and see the value of what was happening. But, uh, you know, as soon as the season was over and my name was being mentioned, you know, on Pro Bowl ballots and if you look at the year of contention and stuff like that, I mean, it kind of hit me that, you know, this this stuff is, is real. It, it's really happening like this. So, um, I mean, it's just, just a great feeling. What are your um, thoughts on your new teammates, the draft picks, and the new free agents that you all sign? What are your thoughts on them? I mean, they all they all good guys. Uh, our, our front office does a great job of you know bringing in good character guys that, that fit you know in the locker room more important than anything. So um, you know it's just a good mesh of guys. Guys really get along and just just come in and work hard. You know to to uh, you know just better the team. So I mean it's it's a great great team atmosphere and the new guys just come in and you know just add to it. This is like Pineapple's a big husky. I got Vicky Wines here. How are you doing today? I'm good, sir. How are you? God is still in the blessing business. Um, tell me after after you get on stage like that and, and give it your all. What what is really going through your mind once you have given it to your all to everybody out there? What is going through your mind when you come on stage like you do? I need some air. <laughs> <laughs> air and a fan or something. No, I just I, I'm always I'm always relieved when I'm able to release myself and the people are happy or either they're either they're crying or they're crying because they've been set free or they because they're no longer hurting or someone has come to Christ, that's always a total relief for me. Okay. And when you when you when, when you because when you get up, you don't just get up and say you get up and tell a few jokes when you get up and say. Um what what makes you get up and, and do the jokes while in the middle of your scene? Because that, that's a different dynamic to go from one one extreme to another. How, how do you mix that and then why do you do what you do? Well, you know, we need to laugh. Life is stressful enough by itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just need to have a good time. And, you know, the Bible says it's a merry heart. We do good like medicine. And we, you know, some people try to act so super spiritual. And, and you just want people to just have a good time in life, you know. Right. Be, you know, being saved is not boring. Right. And have a good time. And I just basically just tell things that happen. And they can be funny. She said, you know, they can be funny, so um, that's what I do. Thank you. It is official. You are definitely official now. You've been chronicled by Chronicles of Big Husky.